I think I'm ranting a little bit too much about Mayuri right now because I don't know. I I don't know. I I even there's there's the uh, there's the Yuri curator that that I follow on Steam because all they do is to find out if it has Yuri in the game, which is an amazing curator, by the way. <laughs> I love that group. Every time I go on, I'm like, mm, let's see what has lesbians today. Anyways, they finally got through that game and they said, this is 100% Yuri, but there is one love, one route and one side route. To which I say, huh, that's really weird. Why they consider that a side route? Or is that what the game consider is a, a side route? To which Mayuri's route seems is, is the main one because uh, in terms of, I feel, um, with symbolism, with the whole flower, and shit. Whenever you go, you, you click on routes that goes for uh, Mayuri, it ends up blooming the flower. And that shows that she's changing, she's blooming into a completely different person. While if you go for Rika, it, it, it looks like you end up transgressing back to your old self or your younger self, whichever, how, however that is, as the, uh, the flower goes back into a bud. With that in mind, let's move away from Mayuri and go into Rika's route because Rika's route I don't even know <laughs> I thought Rika was gonna be all right but then you know Mayuri came and I was like yo I gotta go for Mayuri first and uh there's a certain part of the game because uh like I said in the first part there is a fucking love triangle I don't know how this is happening, but it's complete bullshit, especially with how Rika does it. Uh, we we find out through the through Mayuri and Rika's perspective that Mayuri likes Rika, but Rika likes you. And then depending on who you like, uh, to which my current route was Mayuri, so I like Mayuri. The fucking love triangle is complete. Yeah, it's a little bit bullshit. And that's really, it's, it's, it was 2014, man. You guys are still doing love triangles, seriously? It's, it's complete and utter bullshit. Anyways, because of this stupid fucking love triangle, and, um, Mayuri explained to us that she is a legit lesbian, and, and I'm like, okay, Mayuri, I accept you. It doesn't matter if you're an actual lesbian. I accept you anyways. Rika overhears this, o overhears her confession to us about her sexuality. And even in her perspective, she's like, Man, I'm a really shitty person for actually even thinking about doing this. And then she does it anyway. My god, Rika, you are a fucking shitty person. Because she overhears that, later on when she, uh brings us to the same place where Mayuri confessed to us. She's like, you know why we're here, right? It's like, oh shit, yeah, I know why we're here. She's like, I overhear it. And, and she's like, I'm gonna have to tell the sister Baguette about this, or the principal, whoever. I'm gonna have to tell about this. And, you know, because we're trying to stay as friends, as Amity friends, Suo agrees to follow her, her blackmailing. Basically, she blackmails us to, to dating her. And... <laughs> I don't know, man. At this point, if you're already dating, if you're already fall planning on following Rika's route, it's kind of like, yo, girl, you don't have to blackmail me, okay? I will voluntarily get in them panties, all right? You don't have to blackmail me about Mayuri, okay? Jesus Christ. Talking about that blackmailing and talking to the principal or the, the, the school staff about it, why is it that they don't punish girls dating each other, but if they find out that a girl is gay, they're, 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 she's gonna get punished? Like, she has to leave school or some shit? Like, that makes absolutely no sense. You know, I said the school was kind of smart for, ex for letting the girl relationship bloom because they're like, fuck it, man, we can't stop. This is a fucking boring school with all girls. They're gonna end up dating each other. But no, no, they can't be gay. No, they, it can't be gay at all. That's that's illegal in the Bible. You're lucky we can't stone them, but we just have to kick them out. Yeah, are you serious? Like, yeah, they can go date, but they can't be fucking gay. 
So even if you're going for Rika's route, you end up being forced to date her via blackmail and uh, towards the uh, end of the chapter or somewhere around, I don't, I don't remember at this point, but uh, we, we kind of talked to Rika about it like, yo Rika, this whole blackmailing forced dating is kind of bullshit, we should break up. And Rika's like, no, nah, I can't let you break up. And she kind of goes Lavinia on me. Uh, Lavinia from A Little Lily Princess. I, I, I kind of feel like she kind of has that bit of similarity with Lavinia when they kind of, she's, she pushed me up against the wall and is like, hi, hi, shit, please, somebody stop this woman. She's, or somebody stop this girl. She's about to fucking rape me at the age of 14. Yeah, that fucking bitch right there. So then after she has her breakdown pushing you to the wall and shit, you have the choice to either accept her or not accept her. And I, 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 I just don't understand why would you accept this girl in the first place? It's like, mm, I don't think so. Like, let's just, I think, I think we should just get Sister Baguette to break us up. Let's just, let's just move out and not have... Let's not be friends anymore, Jesus. But anyways, yeah, if you accept her, she's gonna like, Yay, happy, happy fun time. And at that point, you know, with the whole blackmailing and pushing me to the wall thing, she kind of already lost me. I don't even want to date her at this point. So I wasn't paying a lot of attention to her route. I was kind of just glossing over it because I'm like, Oh my God, fucking Rika, man. She's not good for my health can't believe it man this game is good but the ending is shit and I'm still mad that I can't get re I can't get Erica come on man this ser seriously you won't let me date the wheelchair girl damn you man or even sister baguette at least give me like a secret See, see, secret route or something. I know that Sewell and Sister Baguette will never happen because first of all, Sewell has always been suspicious of Sister Baguette throughout the entire game. Only until like the last chapter, she's kind of like, I guess Sister Baguette is okay. Mm, mm, mm. But then she breaks us up, motherfucker, please. I went through the entire game again because I I was hoping that there was something that maybe there was a secret ending or something. But no, no, there's Mayuri's end and Rika's end, and then like six other bad, six, six other bad end, or five, I don't remember. And that's the entire thing, if you complete all those ending, they give you fucking comics, which you think that's gonna make me happy after you tell me that Mayuri leave, and now every time, because I finish Mayuri's route, every time I go on the fucking menu, you just show me Mayuri, and then she just slowly disappears from the group, like motherfucker, are you kidding me? Why? Just why? I might have to split this into two parts because I don't know how long this is and I don't know how long I talked about Mayuri. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Please remember to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.